If you are an Excel 2013 Plus user then you are lucky it's really easy to create a slicer filter on a table. Because the bubble chart is connected with the data sheet, you simply turn that sheet into a table and create a slicer. The slicer filters then the source table what makes the bubble chart show only the desired results. By using a numeric slicer you can even limit the values on the bubble chart to values above or below the desired threshold. You just need to select all the values with shift key on your keyboard. The problem with this filtering approach is that Excel is not showing the labels and on-click tooltip properly. That's why you may need to check the second option for filtering the bubble chart creating a formula filter. We start with adding the combo box from Excel's developer tab. After you right click it, you can go to control tab and connect the drop down to the input and output cells. Then prepare a formula that based on your choices on a drop down will show either the bubble size or zero. After copying the formula to the end of the data range you can test how drop-down works.